All right, guys, today is a smash hit video, margaritas. I'm going to make four different kinds today, okay? And uh, just to start with the basics and what we've got here, of course, our classic tequila. And uh, I've got our mixers. I've got some strawberry left over. Got a brand-new bottle of the lime mixer, grenadine, uh, a little bit of garnish for one of them. Of course, all the glasses are, are salted all the way across, filled with ice. Save one so I can show you how to do that right here with the... Uh, margarita salt and we'll get right to it. The okay, first thing we want to do is I'm going to take a lime wedge and I'm going to go ahead and go all the way around the top of this glass, okay? This is how it's salted. Now using two hands is preferred, but since I'm holding the camera with the other, you get the harder version. Anyway, no big deal. You just do that. Take your glass upside down in the uh, salt, okay? As you can see, I have a salt rimmed glass. Okay, so next thing, ice. We're going to fill this sucker almost to the brim. Now, that's the secret in my book, as far as I'm concerned, in making a cocktail taste correct. Fill that sucker up with ice. Then all the ingredients you put in there at the right measurement with any recipe you follow will taste right. You won't overfill it with mixer and think that it's full and you need more alcohol and then you start tripping up the whole recipe and making it taste like crap, okay? As you can see here, we're full. Don't need any more ice, okay? Now, let's start over here with the tequila. First thing, if I can take the lid off of this, under the arm, what it's going to have to do. Woo! I must have screwed that on tight. So. We're going to go ahead and start with measuring that. Okay. Now, all we're looking for is an ounce and a half. That's a shot glass and a half a shot glass of alcohol, okay? It's about all it takes, all right? We're going to have pour that in there. Now, this is just going to be a basic margarita. A lot of people like to put triple stuck in there, and I like it too, but I'm not going to do that today for this one. And then just your classic lime mixer. That's it. That's all you got to do. You want to throw a garnish on that? Awesome. There's a lime. Throw a straw on that, which I'm not going to do. Actually, I'm going to do it. I just realized I've got it right here in the drawer underneath me. There you go. Okay. Now that's your, your first classic margarita from scratch, okay? Now the rest of them are just ready to go. We're going to go to this glass right here, and we're going to do the exact same thing, okay? We're going to do an ounce and a half of tequila. Just dump that right in there. We're going to do the mixer once again. Okay. Now, that's the exact same thing I just did, right? No big deal. But guess what? This is an Italian margarita. So what we're going to do with the Italian margarita as we're going to take a little bit of amaretto, we're going to sh we're going to put in an entire shot of amaretto. Oh yeah, I'm telling you, same thing. That is the good. One of my favorite margaritas is the Italian because of the way that amaretto tastes. It's really sweet, and it's really really good. So we've got our garnish, and once again, a straw. Okay. So now you've got your classic margarita, you've got your Italian margarita. Moving on. Now this one is another one of my favorites. I honestly don't know what it's called. I think some people refer to it as a tequila sunrise margarita, which does have triple sec in it usually too, but there's several different ways you can make it. But uh, again, we'll start with the tequila. Okay. Another ounce and a half of that. Again, we'll go over to the lime mixer. Now, you don't want to top it off as high as the others, okay? The reason is we've got to add orange juice. So we get a splash of that, okay? And then the part that makes the colorful sunset look is just a, another shot of grenadine here. You just want that in there, pour it over the top, and it will go right inside there. And as you can see it here, it's settling down to the bottom. 
like a sunset. It looks gorgeous. A lot of times these are garnished with a lime, an orange, and, of course, the straw. Maybe even an umbrella if you'd like. But when we're making it at home, we just want to drink it, right? Yeah. So there's your straw. No orange. Just the drink. Slide that back into place. Now this one, the next one we're going to do is going to use a blender. Okay? We're going to go frozen strawberry margarita. Here we go. Now the secret with these is you want to make sure that you over you don't overdo it on the ice and you don't overdo it on the mixer amount, okay? I just got a perfect amount in there for a margarita. It's about one cup of ice, okay? Maybe a little bit more. Not that specific, but when you're putting your, your mixer in, which I'm doing now, you don't want to go past the ice and you don't even want to go halfway. That's not enough. About three quarters liquid to the ice before you blend so you can keep the thickness of the drink. Okay, now I'm going to blend that off camera so you're not disturbed with the noise. Here we go. Okay, there I've got it all blended up. Okay, I'm going to lift it off there. See, as you can see, it's not runny, it's pretty thick. Now, I bet you're wondering why didn't I put it in the tequila? Well, that's because that's a trade secret. You're going to put the tequila in the glass. Okay, again, another shot and a half. Okay, then what you're going to do is probably make a mess on camera. <laughs> See if I can get the dang lid off. There we go. One-handed is a pain. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take this concoction, mix it up a little bit here, and you're going to try to get it all there in that glass without making a huge mess, which I am doing. And as you can see, that about tops that bad boy off. And then you can do, once again, the garnish. And let's throw in a straw. And guess what you got? You've got a frozen strawberry margarita. Is that not the goods or what? All right, so let's pull this one back out. I just remembered I have got a cherry. I'm going to throw that in there. Oh, tell me that doesn't look good, huh? And then again, your Italian. And then your classic margarita right there. Four different margaritas right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen.